What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 98 update. This week adds the brand new mount, the Tusker. And that's this interesting looking creature right here. They also have some news about Hypatia, which should be coming very shortly. Some interesting future content news and more. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 98 brings the new mount, the powerful Tusker. It is only found in the Arctic regions of Styx, so you have to have the Styx DLC to get the Tusker. But it does have a very high HP and regen and can carry a lot. The animal is found exclusively, for now, in the areas of the Arctic regions and Styx. And it has the highest health and regeneration and carry capacity of any of the mounts so far, but trades it for the speed, making it a little bit more slower, but more durable. And they got some bug fixes and some news of Hypatia this week. Let's jump in. Some notable improvements this week. They fixed all stockpile missions as they would request another stockpile pod each new session and players would lose progress. They fixed the Wetwork Olympus mission from being unclickable and thus unable to be started after the Olympus mission mission layout change last week. They also fixed bear armor from blocking first person views and made some adjustments to quest spawning and supply pod spawning to fix some issues with placement occurring on dedicated servers. This week brings the Tusker. This week brings our newest mount, the Tusker, which is a unique mount to the Arctic regions of Styx for now. And you need to take some risks to come across one and tame it. It's a larger animal with more health, more resistance, and stronger stamina regeneration. It also has a higher carry capacity, but is slightly slower than its closest competitor, the buffalo. Being slower than the buffalo makes it the slowest mount in the game, but its survivability is by far the strongest with higher base stats. So this brings the mount total to four, and they look forward to the future mounts coming out soon. And looking to make them persistent, where if you were changed prospects, you could bring your mounts with you. So you don't have to tame a mount on every single map. Mounts are persistent. So let's take a little gander at this. Once you're out in the Arctic area, you're just going to be looking for a Tusker, and this is what a Tusker looks like right here. Very, very furry animal. Very nice and neat looking. Pretty neat looking little animal here. Its tusks look like they're, they're in the ground a lot. I can't really get a, an easy view of it. Kind of looks like a buffalo with uh, a combination of a shag shaggy zebra with horns on the front. So, and of course she will get variations of the Tusker that has its infant with it as well. And that's what the Tusker baby looks like. Just looks like a, a small version basically without the tusks. So you want to kill the one with the tusks, tame the baby, the one without the tusks. And you're just gonna stab, go up and kill its mother. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And then after you do that, and after the mom puts rolling, you should be able to claim the creature. And now you can take the creature back home to tame it like you do all the other mounts in the game. And it looks like Tuskers give gaming meat. And once you bring them back, they'll go to sleep and tame. And then you'll get an animal named Frig. And you just put a little saddle on him. And you can ride him. And it has a frigging a large amount of HP. Holy Christ. Now we are rocking a full four module setup with the hauler. Just to let you guys know that's why we're moving so fast and have so much stamina. We're also making crackers as well. And feeding that to our animals, which gives you the additional stamina and stamina gen. So like we said, uh, we got an HP bar that is huge, a stamina bar that's huge. So we're going to go and see what these things can do. This is how fast you can go with the holer and the four modules and a cracker. Decent amount of stamina. There's an alligator. You want to kill an alligator? Oh wait, I'm sorry, that is weird. The Tusker does do a debuff too, to animals. Looks like it's a six per second dot, some kind of like hemorrhage. Got this little jaguar here, we're gonna sit here and do some damage to it. It's 
kind of a weak attack, but it's got a lot of HP. It's got a ton of HP and a decent amount of stamina. And it does do a bleed or hemorrhage, seems like, debuff. The stamina regen on it is okay. Uh, I know it's supposed to have, like, better stamina regeneration, but it's it's okay. It's not the greatest, um, even with the cracker and everything you can. We don't have any perks, though, or any talents. You can also crit animals. You hit them in the right place, and you can right-click and do, like, a charge as well. <laughs> Oh, look, a bear. See how he does against a bear. Oh, I get a debuff. So, yes, it's a mount that can kill a bear. Oh, and a jaguar, apparently. So the new Tusker mount, we're going to be playing around with this this Friday when we play Icarus. Ix Icarus Friday. The Tusker also has one of the larger mount capacities. You can ride it and you have six spots that you can sit there and store items on, which is pretty cool. Coming soon is Hypatia Part 2, which is the Olympus Operations. They've been working on the open world operations or missions in Olympus. This also includes the VXX and trigger conditions for the open world exotic respawning. And yes, exotics will respawn in open world. And they're also working on the imbalance to ensure that it works correctly and doesn't cause any kind of game flow disruptions. They mentioned one major bug that they mentioned in the notable changes section this week and they just want to mention that the operations in olympus will be available to anybody who owns the game you do not have to buy a special dlc or anything like that but the dlcs do have all their operations now available in open world they also give us a sneaky peek on the bestiary balance in creature trophies that's coming next week they're adding a ton of creature trophies and a unique harvestal part of each animal that can be collected with the taxidermy knife, which we've been seeing in the future content section. Looks like they're giving bestiary a buff, so every time you kill skin or craft a trophy, etc., you can do some additional research with that creature and lock the perks faster, which I believe needed to happen. It, it's pretty, it's pretty bad, pretty low. But yeah, they also say, please support our project. Please buy Icarus and give us money, please, please. The complete set is actually 10% off. It's $102 for the complete set. That includes everything. And then you could get the outpost bundle, which is 25% off now, which is $19.45. Change log. We're going to be checking out the change log. The new content section. The only thing we add this week is the Tusker and the stuff with the tusker and that, that's that's the only thing new this week and we got the please if it ain't broke don't fix it section here's a good change they allow the tier 3 and tier 4 contact upgrade to upgrade contact devices using left click well, i'll be honest i don't see where it actually you could left click and do anything like even in the inventory you still only see this and you can't left click but i even tried putting it on my bar and then left clicking this and it just takes it back into my inventory so i don't know what the left click is maybe it's only on newly crafted things i'm not sure i'm not gonna recraft these to figure it out to be honest with you because they're kind of expensive so they also enabled an animation when upgrading building tiers using the hammer Okay, we're just going to go ahead and hold R. Say we're going to click on wood wall. There's an animation for that now. So basically, it just uses the hammer animation. They also fixed bear armor first, sometimes being visible in first person. So whenever you crouched, you could see it and it would do silly things. And same thing for third person arms, still being visible in first person perspective. And a big old fix for the stockpile missions. And we'll move on over to the future content section. Talking about the cave bat again. Looks like we may have a nine of diamonds tower shield coming variant. And the bats are 
Aggro when flying and chill when chilling. Looks like we're gonna have meteor showers in the future. Working on the non of diamond shield. Adding in basalt valley and prometheus which replaces the right side of the previous lava flows area. Adding in abyss, ice sheet, ashlands, and lava pool new biomes on prometheus maps. Areas currently inaccessible. And they're talking about the ice building tier again. An ore hermit crab? And looks like maybe every three hours we'll have a meteor shower. They fixed Olympus open world hard difficulty, which is my original map I play on usually. Having double the spawn rate change and no creature health modification. Looks like they may be adding a new cave soon. And a new currency icon. And they're working on that brutalist. They also have a titanium tower shield. And we are getting a water purificator looks like. Looks like they may be working on some exotic infused creatures. And looks like we may get a HUD warning for the meteor event. And we'll have Arctic bats with nests. And that's all I see in this changelog. You know what? It's about time to do another build. And I think it's build 2.0 should probably start this week. I think maybe after... After Monday, we'll say we'll announce it on our Discord. If you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. There's a description down below where you can get the link for our Discord and join it, where we have updates for the channel and also sometimes post events in there and do subscriber streams and whatnot. Also, there's plenty of survival game experts in our Discord. Those of you who are not familiar with what Build is, Build is where we go and re record your base and put it on a YouTube video. We'll have a YouTube video named Build 2.0 with a bunch of people's builds, credit given to the creators. And we all get to kind of share our building techniques and strategies to help improve our building techniques in the game. Thank you so much to the Late Night Crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rodnob, Novocaine, Aaron, Hong Po, and Steady Bob. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew and being part of the exclusive YouTube membership where you get special member only videos. We have two ranks available when you hit the join button. We have the Late Night Crew supporter, which gives you access to all the YouTube member videos. You get loyalty badges. So you you can use in live chats and you can also just use them in your comments as well and these are all made by me i've actually made these by hand and we also have custom emojis and stuff like that as well that you can use and then of course the late night crew members they get a shout out in our update videos doesn't matter what the update video is if it's an update video we do a section on each one of those update videos for every game for our late night crew members and they get a shout out for being great supporters of the channel and they are rock stars they also get priority replies to comments so if you enjoy our content consider joining to help support our channel and that's it for this video don't forget if you like what you see to like comment and subscribe to the channel subscribing to the channel will get you weekly icarus update videos just like this one and content videos whenever those come out and hopefully we'll see some beautiful bases here with our build 2.0 we have coming up this next week or two we'll be trying to do it within the next two weeks and hopefully get that video out and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.